This week, I'm sending the certificates for the graduates of my supervision group, which ended, only to start with a new group. Occasionally, like today, I make videos about handicapped life. Often, I focus on how able-bodied friends of ours are relating to handicapped friends of ours. It's because most of the handicapped people I know are very functional, they are very um, well integrated into life, whereas what I notice, people who are able-bodied, let's say, um, like the majority, because handicapped people are minority, they don't know how to relate to them. They feel uneasy around them. It's because they don't know what to expect. I mean, if you think about it, somebody on a wheelchair, will they be um, easily offended? Will they be aggressive? Or will they be demanding? Or is it just a physical difficulty they're having? Or are they also suffering from some mental difficulties? So not knowing makes this uneasiness. So the solution to this uneasiness is my golden key that I use in many, many situations, and that is curiosity. Curiosity opens the doors to intimacy and understanding. I find that imagination is the beginning of manifestation. So I imagine a world in which Handicapped people are in society fully professional, with educational access, and we see them as journalists, as architects, as teachers. Their streets and buildings are friendly for wheelchairs and buses and transportation systems. So I would like to honor the anxieties of healthy body people as well as the losses of our handicapped friends uh, with love. I also would like to mention about some work that I've been doing with muscular dystrophy, especially Duchenne. This is an illness that um, boys suffer from and it's progressive. And over time in their youth, they become a de um, <clears throat> dependent on some breathing machine. So because they are, they are losing their abilities gradually, I when I speak with these young men, I find they have this awareness and gratitude towards life that only some old people acquire with old age. <clears throat> so I think we have a lot to learn from these young men. You and your loved ones are significant. To receive regular tips to help you achieve more autonomy, visit my page.